Let's talk about how to color grade GoPro footage for cinematic FPV. By the end of this video, you will have a super fast three-step process to getting the best out of your FPV footage. And at the end of this video, I will be sharing with you four LUTs so you can get the best grade in just one click. And as my friend Camillo says, let us begin. We will be using DaVinci Resolve for this tutorial. So if you have Premiere Pro, throw that garbage out the window and get yourself the free version of DaVinci Resolve. I will leave a link in the description. Now I am no colorist so the process might be technically wrong but it works for me so it'll work for you. Now let's open DaVinci Resolve. Let's head over to the color tab where we will start our grade. This is where we will implement our three step strategy. So create three nodes with Alt S and label them color correct, CSS and grade. You can create a node label by right clicking on the node and clicking node label. That shit is trophy toy. In this first node, we will white balance. If you click on the color wheels over here and you open up the vector scope by clicking this button and selecting vector scope, use these settings that I have over here. And then the goal of this part of the grade is to make sure that this big white blob over here is mostly over the center crosshair. And you can do that by manipulating the temperature and tint settings. You will see as I change the temperature, it moves the white blob. So I'm going to move the white blob a little bit down and to the right so that it's more in the middle and then I'm going to do the same with the tint and move it down and to the left so it's mostly in the middle. That is good enough. If you click on the bottom left hand side of any node you will be able to turn off that node on and off. So you can see the difference there we have slightly cooled down this image. Next in the DSS node we will alter contrast saturation and sharpening. For GoPro footage you want to alter the contrast using this slider over here. I will never go higher than 1.3 so let's lift this straight out to 1.2 as a starting point and see how that looks. We can turn it on and off. I think that looks just fine. Next with saturation we will lift it up to 55. That is usually where I start. That's good enough for me. Let's have a look at before and after. That looks great. Last step on this node is to add some sharp and you can do that by clicking on the sharpening tab over here and selecting sharpening. This slider works by adding sharpening the lower you come down. For GoPro footage I would never recommend going lower than 0.47 so let's just go to 0.48 for this clip. Again before and after. Fantastic. Now the final thing we want to do is add a grade. On the grade node we want to affect things that are important to us in this image. So for my example I want to make this image look a little bit more orange and vibrant and bring out that summer vibe. To do that we will want to understand in which parts of the color spectrum those particular colors sit. By selecting the dropper tool and looking at your vector scope down below you can hover over the parts of the image that you would like to alter and it will show you in which parts of the color spectrum those colors sit. For the roof and the sunlight unsurprisingly they sit between yellow and red. We will add a color preset in the red spectrum. This will now select all of the red parts of the image. You can see this by going shift H. This will highlight all of the parts of the image that this particular node will be affecting. Back to the color wheels on offset this affects everything the highlights the shadows and the midtones. We will up some of the oranges by clicking that you can see that this has added a bit more orange to the image this is our three-step strategy before and after Linked in the description down below is a free LUT, the South African Sunrise LUT. You can go ahead and download that. There is also a link to the starter pack of FPV LUTs and included in that are all five of these LUTs over here. I will usually add LUTs onto the third node or I'll add it to a fourth node. But for this example, let's just reset this grade node and we will add the LUTs directly on there. You wanna make sure you add these LUTs at a point when the image has been graded correctly and you are happy with the results. Another part that you can change over here is the key. If you come down to the bottom part of your screen and click key, this is where you can alter how much of the LUT is affecting the image. Usually I will stay between 0.5 and 1 for most of the LUTs. So you can kind of pick a LUT that you like and then scale it to your desires. LUTs are a great way for you to make fast and powerful changes to your images. And you can do this almost with one click. Trust! 
do it. The starter pack will stay on sale for $10. So please have a look at that and feel free to pick that up if you would like to do so. If you've just got started in FPV, check out this video over here where I go over the top 10 tips for starting in cinematic FPV. And if you're traveling with your drone in the near future, you'll want to check out this video where I cover all the tips that you need to know to travel with your drone safely. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.